Mama can't cook. Better get you some. Oh, my God. Oh, no. Hello, hello, welcome back, welcome to Stir Fry Tuesday, are you ready to get your walk on? <laughs> okay, so today we are doing chicken chow mein, I call easy chicken chow mein, so it's just a really simple one to get us started on our stir fries, oh, Kathy, I hope I can do you proud, mate. Alright, so for this one, we need 500 grams of chicken thigh fillets, uh, two medium brown onions, we need two cloves of garlic, or the jar garlic like I use. We need a four centimeter piece of fresh ginger, which is roughly 20 grams, grated, or your jar ginger. Uh, we need two celery stalks, a medium red capsicum, some corn flour, some chicken stock, some light soy sauce. We need five spring onions. We need one cup of bean sprouts, and we need two cups of finely shredded Chinese cabbage. Now, the last but not least is we need a packet of our, I love getting these ones, the Thin Egg Noodles, and they're wok ready, they're already made, they're just brilliant, they taste absolutely amazing, and I just got them on special for two bucks a pack, so I grabbed a boatload of them, because they've got a really long shelf life, so you can have them in the cupboard, and it's just so easy to throw anything you've got with these, and make something up out of them. So this is a 440 gram packet. Now when I was looking at them before, I thought, geez, that stir fry looks amazing, and it's like, Duh. Whenever you see food on a package like that, or food on a package like that, I mean, look at that beautiful chicken risotto. The recipes are on the back. <laughs> so down the track, we are going to make five spice pork noodles. Oh, I always love giving these a go because the recipes on these, you think they know what they're talking about because it's their own products, you know what I mean? And so if you don't know what to cook, just go have a look at all the packaging around your house. Find a, have a look at the back, see the recipes, and 9 out of 10 times you've already got the main ingredient for them anyway, and you might be able to find something to cook just out of your cupboard. Alrighty, let's do this! So the first thing we do is we get our veggies ready. So we get our capsicum, and all I do is cut it in half, and then cut the halves in half again, and then slice it really thin. Take out all the middle, so you don't have the middle. Measure out your cup of bean sprouts. Now when it comes to the celery, I get the sticks and chop them in half, and then I slice them in half long ways again, and then slice them up into really, well, as thin as you can get, strips. Um, now, the Chinese cabbage is really easy to slice thin, so you just want to slice that thin. I've just got my um, spring onions and just slice them all really thin, and with the onions, I just chopped them in half, and then chopped them up really paper thin as well. So basically, to make a really good stir fry, you just need to cut everything paper thin. So now we get our chicken fillets, which people I think can also call chicken tenderloins. Alright, and we just want to cut them long ways in really thin strips. Once that's all sliced up nice and thinly, set it aside for a minute. Grab out a jug. Now the first thing we want is half a cup of chicken stock in there. Now we want quarter of a cup of light soy sauce in there. And we want two teaspoons of corn flour in there and then mix it up really well. Once you've done that, leave the fork in it and set it aside so that way when we go to throw it in you can give it another quick mix before we do. Alright, now we just want to cut open our packets and have them sitting there ready to go as well. Because when we start cooking this, it literally only takes about four minutes and it's just like boom, 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 boom. So yeah, get all your noodles out and get them ready to go. Now if you don't like the egg noodles and you don't want to use them, the other thing you can do is don't put them in at all and instead you can get the dry fried noodles and you can put them on your plate first and then you can put this whole stir fry on top of them. So it's one or the other but I just love using these. And then we are ready to rock and roll. Oh, get your ginger and grate it up and have it sitting on a plate as well. And um, same with your garlic, get that out with your crusher ready to go. Alrighty, once we've got absolutely everything ready, we want to get out a wok. It's the first time I've used it, so I'm just going to put it on medium and see how we go. I'm supposed to be using peanut oil, but I've only got olive oil, so we're going to pretend that's peanut oil today. So the first thing we want to do is put half a tablespoon, roughly, of our um, peanut oil in. 
and we want to fry up our chicken and we're going to have to do it in two batches so stick half in first and we'll fry half up and then take that out and then fry the other half up so we want to cook it until it is just cooked through you definitely have to, you want to cook it but do it just cooked All right, well, you know what? This wok is huge, man. So I'm gonna put it all in. Break it up really well. I frigging love this wok. Oh my God, I feel like really posh. It's so cool. All right, so with the wok come a, um, in the instruction book was a heap of recipes. They're not actual stir fries, but they're heaps of things that you can do in the wok. So after I finish doing the stir fry Tuesdays, I'm gonna keep going. So it's gonna be a walk on Tuesday, but I don't know how long. And I'm gonna do all the recipes in the book too, because they look amazing. Oh my God, this is so awesome. Couple more minutes and that'll be just cooked through. And now that it's just cooked through, we wanna add just another half, half of a tablespoon of peanut oil. We wanna throw in our onion, our we want to throw in our brown onion. Give that a good mix through. Okay, once they're all stirred in, now you want to put your two cloves of crushed garlic in there or two heaped teaspoons of the jar garlic. Now you want to add your grated ginger or one heat, not two heat. Oh, where are you? Spoon of ginger from the jar. All right, mix that all through really well and just cook it out for a couple of minutes until the onion is see-through. Oh, mate, how enjoyable is it to cook something when you've got the right thing to cook it in? This is such a nice wok. So it's a, well done, Kathy. It's a sunbeam wok. I really suggest everyone get one. Electric one, it's absolutely friggin' amazing. Now we can smell that amazing garlic and ginger oh, with the onion. It smells amazing here. Okay, the next thing we do is we add our celery and our capsicum. Now we just want to stir fry it in until they're just tender, until they're just going soft. Only like, literally two minutes. Righty, a couple minutes later and our veggies are softer. Now we want to get our corn flour mix and just give it a good mix in again. Whack it in there. And now we just want to wait until it comes back up to the boil and keep mixing it until it just thickens a little bit. It basically, once it starts boiling again, it, like a couple of minutes, not even. All right, that was pretty much a minute later. It's starting to thicken up beautifully. Now we get our noodles and we want to just break them up in there. Now we want to give them a good mix through, nice and quickly. Okay, once they're all mixed in evenly, like a saw. Oh yeah, baby, this smells freaking amazing. All right, put our sprouts in. Put our cabbage and um, spring onions in. Keep tossing them around until it's all heated through. Well, there you have it, my friends. Chicken chow mein, Aussie girl style. Oh, that was, it's, I mean, it's a little bit of work just to cut up the veggies, but after that, I mean, it's so much fun to put that together, especially in a nice big flush wok like that, mate. <laughs> Oi, right, have yourselves an awesome night. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you really soon. Bye.